Palolto firewall lab topology and setup. This is our lab topology. We have four firewall HQ firewall, branch firewall 1, branch firewall 2, and we have DC firewall. And we have a panorama as well for centralized management. We use few IOU switches. I already show you how you can upload these switches to EVENG. For multiple WAN, we are using PFSense. And these are the tiny core Linux to use them as a web server, server 1 and server 2. And this is Linux leg to use them as a client. And this is window 10 to use them to join the domain. And this is Kali Linux. And I already show you how you can upload these images to EVENG. This is server 2012. Management subnet I'm using is 192.168.100 and your case it will be different. Okay, so if I go back to my EVENG topology, so basically this management PC is basically cloud, which is connected outside to my EVENG so that I can access these devices directly in my browser. Okay, so this is and if you are using community edition, so it will be cloud and this is also cloud and this is also cloud and this is cloud as well. Even this is a cloud, but this is a net cloud and professional edition. Which provide you internet. If you are using community edition, so you can use the management here as well. It will provide you internet access. Now let me show you, so these are the cloud. Don't worry that how you are connected. So this is management cloud. Next, the firewall, right click. And if you go to firewall, so I'm using Palo Alto version 10. Okay, with 16 GB RAM, even you can make them 8 GB as well. And six interfaces. And the console will be VNC in this case, in the case of Palo Alto firewall. These are IOU switches. So if I right click and go to Cisco IOL, so I'm using the IOL switches. And this is, I already told you, this is a PFSense. We use them in other courses as well. And this is Windows Server 2012. And this is a Panorama. So if I right click on Panorama, okay. So I'm using Panorama 10.0.0 version. However, you need to increase the RAM. Minimum is 16 GB. In my case, I allocate them 32 GB and 16 CPU. Minimum, you can assign them four. And you need to change the console to Telnet. By the way, on these devices, nothing is configured. I only connected these devices to save some time. Now let's go the IP schema. So for management, I'm using 192.168.100. This will be different in your case. Rest of each and everything will be the same. For internal LAN subnet, I'm using 10.0.1, 10.0.2, and 10.0.3, this one. So internally, I'm using 10.0.1 subnet, here 10.0.2 subnet, and here 10.0.3 subnet. For DMZ, we are using two subnet, 10.0.4 and 10.0.5. While for the DC, we are using 10.0.6. So these are the DMZ internal and remote subnets. After that, for head office ISP1, we have one and two. Consider these IP public IPs. So for HQ, we have 192.168.1 and one ninety two one sixty eight two. These two subnet is WAN1 and WAN2. While for DC firewall, we have 192.168.3 and 4. And these are pre-configured here. Okay, so these are the subnet. 
now coming to the management ip so on this firewall for the management subnet the ip will be 200 means 192 168 100.200 then this branch firewall is 210 this is 220 and this one is 230 active directory is 230 and dc firewall is 240 and finally 100.250 will be assigned to panorama these are the management ip schema now for the client i'm using slack linux so if you go here so this is linux slack and i change the icon so look better Similarly, on this side, if I right click and go to edit, so this is window 10 because one system we need for remote. So this is window 10. However, this is Linux Slack. Similarly, if I right click on here, so this is also window 10 system which you can use. Window 10, you can use window 7, window 8 and you can use window 11 as well. And this is Kali Linux. If I right click and go to edit, so Linux Kali 2020, I'm using this one and you can use any other version as well. The switches I already told you, so these are the detail, the IP schema, the domain name we will use test.local, which we will create later on here and this system Windows Server 2012 and we will create two VLAN because we will create two VLAN here, one for the server one and this is server two. By the way, this server one and server two are the tiny core Linux. I already share and it is a web server, a ready-made web server. So Palo Alto version is Palo Alto version 10. Panorama is also version 10. Cisco switch, we gonna use this one. Window 10, we will use this one. Windows 7, if you want, we can use this one. Windows Server, we will use Server 2012 R2. For multiple WAN connectivity, we are using PFSense. For client, we're going to use Linux Lake 9.11. For web server, Linux TTY or Linux Tiny Core. You can use either of these. This one is graphical and this one is CLI based. So it's up to you which one you want. And my lab I use tiny core Linux which is graphical. And the internet link is net cloud and management cloud which I show you. So 70% lab we will use this main topology. While for other 30% we will use different topology such as for HA, high availability and other stuff. That's it. So this is our lab topology. So I only connected these devices however there is nothing configured on these devices that's it